In this tutorial, I'm going to go over adding a field type or adding a new field. Uh, it should be pretty standard, and I'm just going to go over the basics here um, just so you kind of understand how everything works. Um, but you'll first want to go to the actual field list page. So it'll be under one of the, the main menu items. So since I'm going to add a job field, let's go ahead and go to job fields. And then in the top up here, you're going to see this little button that says add job field. If you're on company fields, it would show it here. Say add company field. So let's go ahead and add a new company field. Click on that. And then you'll see this modal window is going to pop up. This is where you can start configuring your field. The first thing you're going to want to do is to choose a meta key for your field. This is going to be a unique, unique um, value that's going to be uh, the way that you reference this specific field uh, throughout your site. So when you want to output the value on your listing, either in a widget or whatever it is, uh, just use something that's going to be unique and something that you'll be able to tell what that field is. Um, if you start trying to use characters that can't be used in there, so we'll say, see, dollar sign, you can't use those characters. It's going to automatically tell you that. Try and use a space. You can't use a space. So make sure it's unique. Like I said, the users on the front end won't actually get to see it, so you don't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and start filling this in. We'll do a, since it's going to be one, a company field, I'm going to go ahead and company, and let's do a, Let's do company address. Let's do that. Company address. And I'm going to do just a standard text box field here. You'll see this is the field type where you select the field type. Now, I have a bunch of other tutorials available already that go over um, you know, the majority of these different field types. So if you want inf more information about each of the different types of fields, the field types, uh, go check out that playlist and go through some of those other tutorials. Um, so for this example, I'm just going to keep it simple. We're going to go with the standard text box. The next field is going to be the label. The label is what it's going to show next to that input field that we're creating. So in this one, we're going to put address. The next one is going to be description. Description is going to be what shows below the field itself, kind of to give the user a little bit more information. Um, so in this one, and this is optional, you don't have to put anything in here. So for the description, I'm going to put uh, please include any sweet numbers as well. The next one is going to be the placeholder. A uh, placeholder is what is going to show in the background of the field. So as you can see right now, you see this, this input box we have right here. You see how it says this text you are reading? That is actually a placeholder. So the placeholder for this input field is this text you are reading. So what I'm going to put here is we'll just put, you know, one, two, three, my lane suite 100 Orlando Florida 3288 the next field is the priority the priority is going to determine where this field is output on the submit page the priorities can be decimal points so you can put you know 1.2 1.1 that allow you to customize it a little more fine you know fine tune it um, so this one, I technically, I want it to show right below the company name. So if I look here, I see company name is priority one. And then we have company website, which is priority two. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it at 1.1 so that it shows below company name, but above company website. Um, next one, and, and that is, uh, it's going to be based on the, the lowest number is going to be the field that shows first. So uh, the next one here is visibility. This, if you check this and enable this, this means that this field is only going to show in the admin section. It will not show on the front end to the users when they are submitting a listing or when they're editing it. This would be useful for when you want to have um, something specific that is for, um, you know, your admin. So you want, you have like a job reference ID or um, say you're creating a checkbox and it's, you know, user has been confirmed by admin. Um, stuff that you don't want the user to be able to change, but you want to have related to that listing. Um, I don't want this to be admin only because I do want the users to be able to enter this. Next is going to be required. Required is going to not allow them to submit the listing unless they have input a value into the field. So I am going to select this because I do want them to um, enter in the address and I do want it to be required to submit a listing. The next tab down over here on the left is advanced. Um, the advanced tab is going to, the val what it's going to show in here is all going to be based on the field type that you select. 
So right now I've selected the text box. So the advanced configuration settings that are available are default. So I can set a default value that is going to be in there. I can set a title. A title is what's going to show when you hover over a field and it pops up. When you hover there for a second, it'll pop up and say, you know, please enter your address. You can set the max length. Max length is the maximum amount of characters that can be input into this field. If you leave it, if you don't put anything in here, then they'll be allowed to put as many as they want in there. Um, I recommend leaving it empty unless you specifically only want them to enter a certain amount of characters. This is not the amount of words, it is literally a character. So even a space counts as a character. Next one is pattern. Pattern is a way you can do validation on HTML, HTML5 fields. Now the majority of all web browsers nowadays do support this. Uh, and you'll notice we have this little question mark here. If you click on that, that'll open another, another window and it'll bring you here to where you they have a bunch of different um, you know, patterns and example patterns that you can use. So you'll see, you know, if I only wanted them to be able to enter postcodes, or if I only wanted them to be able to enter in dates or phone numbers, um, here's miscellaneous. So you can see this without decimals. Um, let's see if they've got anything for uh, username. So see, yeah, so if you were creating a, a Twitter field, you could use this pattern right here and just copy and paste this, and then that would only allow them to, you know, whatever this restriction is. Uh, you can create your own as well. There's tons and tons and tons and tons of different formats and stuff you can use. Uh, this website right here just gives you a kind of a, a good, uh, I guess, group of examples to kind of see how everything can be done. Um, for this one, I'm not going to really put any kind of pattern requirement on there, um, but this will this will basically give you a little bit of validation using HTML5. Now let's close these. Let's go post a new job. And let's go ahead and check out our new field. Scroll down here. And you'll notice here's company details, here's address. So you'll notice all those settings we set up. There's address, there's our description, our placeholder. So you can see address. You can see our placeholder. It's in the background to kind of give them an example, but it's not actually a value set in there so that if they entered it in, it would go to, you know, it would save that value there. You'll see there's our description right there below it. You'll see under advanced, you'll see our title. Please enter your address. So you'll notice when I come over here, please enter your address. Um, we didn't do any patterns. And that's the basic gist of creating a new field and how it'll show up on there. So make sure and check out some of the other tutorials. I'll go more in depth on some of these things. I uh, appreciate you watching and see you on the next one.